Greetings, Lunarians. Welcome back to the Empire. I'm your host, Valkus Lunari, bringing to you Chrono Cross for the first time on my channel. I'm freaking excited, man. This is in my top five, and I've been wanting to play this for a very long time on my channel. So, it was voted in as the new LP for uh, um, for this time around, and uh, what we're going to do is start a brand new poll as well later. I'll let you guys know about that here in a second. But the votes were very, 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 very close. So, like, shockingly close. Chrono Cross beat The Witcher 3 by one. By one vote. Crazy. All right, let's get into it. How's everybody doing today? Elf, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Good to see you. You are here with the greeting. I love it. Rhea, good to see you, girl. How's it going? Let me know. Where's everybody else at? Bring him in. I notified everybody. Let's go. It's time to roll. It's time to go. Time to go, go, go. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous, actually, because this is this is a big one for me. All right. Oh, let's see. Confirm. Prepare to get hit with a bunch of nostalgia, y'all. For real. <laughs> It's going to be a hell of a ride. Rhea's talking to you, Elf. You better say hi back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Who do we get for our third? Fargo. We got third for our. For, we got uh, Fargo for our third. Interesting. Cool. What is it, Serge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. Boy, come on, Serge. Fargo. Just you wait, Lynx. Today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> this chick is crazy. Search. I'm coming, bro. Oh, dude. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm getting hit by a bunch of nostalgia. Like, I remember a bunch of this game, obviously, but, like, I'm going to need maybe a little bit of a guide later on to see if I can pick up everything. Because I definitely want to do, um, I don't want to do 100% completion, but, like, close to it. So, I don't want to miss a lot of stuff. Um, custom under frame. That's good. Uh, let's see. Cursor. Good. I like it this way. And this needs to be walk. Okay, great. Let's go. Oh, man. I forget the name of this fort. Is it like Fort Dra Dragonus or Draconis or something like that? Completely forget. I do want to fight these guys, though. Typically, I don't fight them just because I want to get to the main part of the story. That matters. <laughs> but no, this is important, but you just don't get any uh, rewards from it. Still, I would like to fight. Miss? Oh, come on. That was 92%. Ow. Jerk. Oh, man. It's like it was yesterday. Let's go. <laughs> boom. Boom. It's a powerful move, man. I thought it was always funny because, like, whenever you get to this part in the actual storyline, um, Surge, you cannot get Surge's weapon that he has right there, which is the more powerful one. I think it's the Silver Swallow. You can only get, like, the Iron one or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Um, steel. Yeah, the Steel one. So, unless I've missed something before coming here, I've never been able to get that weapon before coming here. So, it's just weird to see that weapon there. Anyway, need to deactivate this crystal up top after we kill me some bats. We got some viewers piling in, man. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Let's see. Uh, you're weak against squad attack, so boom, boom. Aaron, you're in my stream. Welcome, girl. How you doing? Good to see you. Chrono Cross is here. You guys voted for it. So it is here. I'm sure you are pleased. 
refresh something real quick. That damn viewer count. That's not correct. Oops. Yep, that looks better. Alright. Mike, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I read your post on Discord, so yeah, my sympathies, man. Absolutely. So, hang in there. Valkos is good. Valkos is ecstatic. I'm I'm so excited, for real. Like, to play this on my channel for the first time is pretty exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. Like, I'm I'm nervous. I don't know why. It's just uh, I I just want to do this justice. You know what I mean? And do it well. Um, but yeah, we're in for a long ride. This is gonna be a long game <laughs> because I'm not sure exactly what I'll do as far as like New Game Plus goes. I want to try to beat the game uh, story mode for the first time at the very end. Because if anybody doesn't know, like, at the very end you have a chance to either start the game over as a new game plus, or to actually beat the story by doing it right at the very end. So, we shall see. Yeah, I missed her stream. I'm very sorry. Uh, tell her that I'm very, very sorry I had to miss the stream because I just had way too much preparation to do and I had to leave my house to uh, take, some, take care of something important for tomorrow. And I had no time to pull up the stream, so my deepest deepest apologies but I'm glad she's I'm glad she's happy that we're doing this so all right that's true it is on ps3 so that is correct I remember getting it on ps3 as well on one of my accounts I think I actually bought it on two accounts on ps3 but yeah that was a long time ago photon beam minus one that won't do uh, whatever we have a new subscriber World of Final Fantasy, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Lunarian Empire. Welcome. I know who you are, man. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. How's your day going? Let me know. It's important information. I tell everybody that. Yeah, dude. It's time. It's time to play one of my top fives. So, I haven't streamed up my one of my top five games on YouTube in a very long time. Um... Well, no, that's not true. I guess, like, Brigandine is up there, but Chrono Cross is, like, my third or fourth favorite game. Probably third. Um, but, yeah. It's gonna be fun, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna try to recruit everybody, too. I'm gonna... This, this is gonna be a very long series. Like, after I get done with the first playthrough and the story, I'm probably going to do a new game plus and keep it rolling until I get, like, what I want out of the game, which is pretty much everything. <laughs> so, we shall see. I will need some people's help, though, because it's been... It hasn't been a long, long time, but it's been probably two years since I played it all the way through, like, to 100% completion. And I'm going to forget things. So if people want to help out, please, please feel free. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It really is. Just like Xenogears and, you know, Valkyrie Profile and stuff like that. Oi, what the bloody hell happened? Just happened. I can't speak Australian. <laughs> what are we doing out here? Wow, bugger. We're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fault. Air surge. You alright, mate? You've been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? I'm just winging these voices. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of characters in this, and I want to try to divvy it up a little bit. Keep it fun. Rhea, you are definitely in for a treat. I'm serious. This is a huge, huge game. The story is very, very compelling and very long, and the content that is within this game is... All, is it scales to, like, numerous amounts. It's crazy. I don't even know how to choose my words, because I'm nervous. <laughs> no, it's definitely not as linear as Final Fantasy. That's for sure. So, yeah, we just saw a scene here. So, for anybody that new that's watching this game for the first time, um, that sequence right there is from the future. So, you saw Surge just kill Kid right there. We don't know what that's about just yet, so... No spoilers in the chat for anybody who's watching this new, because we do have a few. Um, but yeah, 
you can talk about some things. But, uh, yeah. Let's try to keep it spoiler-free if we can for at least a little while. After you complete a mission, they do not make it clear where your next destination is most of the time. You have to guess and check. Indeed. That's what the classic RPGs hardly like every, every single one of them almost, man. Because, uh, yeah. That makes it more immersive. You know, that your choices matter more because they don't give you direction. So, hints, sure, you know, but yeah. Alright, so, we have control of Surge at his home. He just woke up from that grueling nightmare. If you check his bed, under the bed he has his life savings, or secret savings. 200 G. I'm assuming that's going to be gold. No, I don't want to rest. I just rested. And I had a horrible nightmare. Do not want to repeat. Let's see, there is my mother. Marge. Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, did you have any plans to meet with Le Lena this morning? Lena came by to see you if you were up, but you young men were still off in Never Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Preach it. Preach it. They're terrifying. <laughs> yes, they are. They're terrifying when you uh, upset them. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's cats everywhere here, so you're right at home, Aaron. Let's see. Um, okay. We can talk to her right away. However, there's other things that I need to take care of in the town to make sure that I recruit other characters before I leave. So... The first thing to do is to collect a shark tooth, if I remember correctly, down here from this guy. This will have some significance later, you will see. So, I know he has some long dialogue, but whatever. Oh, uh, hi, Serge. I was lost in my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly. Sometimes I'm just amazed at how much he resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that too. She's been very much like her mother since I, as long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. Yeah, the cross came out after Trigger. Way after Trigger. It was PlayStation 1. And the uh, and Trigger was way back in, you know, Super Nintendo days. So, It's been about 10 years since I became a fisherman. Back then I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you can say everything here represents 10 years of my life. Line sharks, sawfish, six-horned narwhales, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. I love my job and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path 10 years ago. Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about another you that might have been. Boy, life sure is complex. Oh, hey Serge, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet I made from a line shark tooth ten years ago, when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. Oh, he's got that superstition, doesn't he? <laughs> that's right. The shark tooth is mine. Excellent. Alright, that's going to be important later. So for key items, you hit square to bring up the key items, and you can select those in different locations to like interact with different people if you select the correct item and then certain events will pop off so you have to be able to know where to go for those certain key items um, like kind of off off the story a little bit so key items are important throughout the story but the majority of them I think are actually important just on side quests and stuff so anyway <clears throat> All right. sorry if I'm a little slow on chat right now <laughs> you guys are talking up a storm you, you go right ahead you go right ahead I'm just, uh, yeah. Wallowing in nostalgia land. Okay, so there is another key item under here. It is the Hecarim Bone. We use that to get a new character within the village. The most ridiculous character that I've seen in this game so far, but, I mean, yeah, there's, there's that. Does this do anything? Yeah. No answer. It's just a barrel. BS. 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 <laughs> See? What do you want already? I said I'm just a barrel. It's fine. Just take it. I got an uplift. 
An uplift is an earth elemental attack. It is definitely uh, useful. Oh, let's see. Speaking of elements, I need to take care of that here in a second. But there's other there's other elements to get in here for free. I just need to remember where they are. There's a photon over here, I think, and that's great for Surge because he's white elemental, and photon is white. I think it's in this bucket. <laughs> get the photon ray in the bucket. Yep, there we go. Cool. I don't think there's anything else in here. I believe. Yeah. Nothing else. Sorry, Granny. Just raided your uh, photon from your bucket. My bad. You can't use it anyway. Alright. Let's see. Crap. Go up the damn stairs. <laughs> How long ago did I play this? I played this, uh... Gosh, it's been a couple years since I played all the way through it. Like, I booted up a few playthroughs here and there between, you know, two years and now, but it hasn't been anything extensive, like... I had other things going on and stuff like that. Why don't I go in here? I don't need to be in here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's been about two years since a serious playthrough. So. Hopefully I remember quite a bit. Uh, doesn't this guy give something? Yo, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? Have you ever seen one this size? Ha! <laughs> this has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Serge? You're probably right. You think so too? I knew it. I just knew it. If it really is true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up. Money will start pouring in. I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail, eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Termina. Ah, life is good. Squid gut pasta. That sounds awesome. Yeah, right. Who am I kidding? That would definitely not be too good to be true. But thanks anyway, Serge. Thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like. That's right, the Komodo scale. So if we give this to um, one of the kids in the square here, I don't think it's that kid. I think it's one of the other kids. Um, yeah, it's this kid. So if you hit square next to him and give him the Komodo scale, then he wants to give it to that girl over there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sergi, is that a Komodo dragon scale? No way! Is it real? Sergi, how about giving to, giving it to me? Please, pretty please. Come on, Sergi, I want to ask another favor for the rest of my life. Now please. Take it, kid. Really? Y you're sure? Yes, all right. Thanks a million, Sergi. Here, let me give you this. Put it to good use, okay? Another uplift. I thought it was a, um, an aqua beam, but no, that's all right. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Do you know what Poshul's favorite food in the whole entire world is? Hecarin Bones. She'd do anything to get her paws on one. She'd obey your every command if you give her one. So that's a hint to go get the Hecarin Bone that we already got in order to recruit that dog character. This is the most ridiculous character. I'll show you in a second. Um, let's see. Um, don't talk to Lena just yet. Alright, let's go back here. I think I might train with Radius, actually. We'll see. He'll whoop my butt, but no, there's no reason to train. There's no reason to train. Alright. This little character over here <laughs> it'll, will be on my team. Temporarily. Temporarily. So. Ah, is that a Hecarin bone? Sergi Poo, a present for I? <laughs> How'd you know? Hmm, to accept or not to accept? I love how they put the little vocal inflections in this dialogue. It's so funny. <laughs> me accept your present and me see I'll help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. Me will do it, Sergi Poo. Please don't say my name like that. It's very degrading. <laughs> uh, yeah, it talks. Doesn't talk well, but it talks. All right, we have a new character. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so um, there should be a couple things in here, right? Wait, is there anything in this bucket right here? Oh, they're shooting off fireworks outside. Sorry if you guys hear that. You know, they're getting ready for the Fourth of July, which is in two days. So, all right, let's see. I don't think there's anything else in here, right? 
there's something behind like a painting or whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. This isn't it. I could have sworn there was something here. Yeah, with a lith. Yeah, every single character has inflections and they put it in the dialogue. It is so cool. It is so cool. So, her dialogue is really ridiculous, but in any case. Alright, I, I could have sworn there was something in there, but I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to find it, but that's fine. I thought there was a magma bomb in there, actually. In any case, the uplifts are actually going to be very good for the dog. So, um, let's see. Let's go to elements real quick and start uh, allocating here. So, for her, I want her to have an uplift on level 3. Yes, level 3. Because you can equip, like, any level elements to any um, slot in here. Um, so, like, you can equip this all the way up to level 8. You know, you get all the way up to level 8 at some points. But, like, for um, the uplift, it's supposed to go into level 1 normally. But if you put it up to level 3, then it gets a plus 2 bonus. So more damage, you know. Anyway, there's that. Uh, let's see. How do we... Let's see. Remove? How do we remove? Okay, there's that. Okay. Um, I need to put Cures in the first slot. Uh, Photon Ray needs to go to Surge. Okay, that's going to go on slot number 3, for real. Um, Uplift is also going to go to Poshal. Let's see. Let's put that... Let's put that on the, uh, actually, no, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to have these tablets here. I want to cure there. Um, let's see. Shellfish frame. Oh, nice. Excellent. That's right, we can change that. I don't think I want to, though. I can show you what it looks like, though. So, you can change the window frame. Wood, simple line, shellfish. That thing looks absolutely ridiculous, and uh, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I want to keep it that way. There are some cool ones in there that I like to change it to from time to time, but not that one. That was just way too involved for my taste. So... All right, we want to buy elements. Revives can be tough to find. Um, like, it takes a while for you to get to a store to actually buy them, um, because don't don't they sell them like it in like way later in the game? I kind of I think they do. <laughs> anyway, um, I have one cure allocated already, so I just need to buy one more for partial. I need to buy an aqua would beam for later but fireball is going to be the most important one throughout this first stage so let me get um, two of these not four two and then um, aqua beam we will get two all right cool I have no money left <laughs> all right let's go back to the menu then re-equip all right so cures um, Cure, there's really no point in it being in level 2. It does heal more, but I don't need it for this current time. I typically won't, like, you know, add numbers to any heals. I'll just usually keep it in where, it's, where it needs to be. Because I think it's more important to put damage high up than it is, um, you know, heals. And this at least. There can be uses for them, probably, but whatever. Alright, so Fireball is important first because we're fighting against water creatures. So, the elements will oppose each other in this game. So, red opposes um, blue. Oh, red and blue op oppose each other, should I say. Green and yellow oppose each other, and then white and black oppose each other. So, um, let's see. Um, put that on level one, and fireball on two. Perfect. So, idiosyncratic. That is a big word that I am not familiar with. <laughs> Please give me the definition. I know what distinct means, but is idiosyncratic like, um, you know, an evolution of that word? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's talk to Lena. 
Whoa, kid. You got a full set of clothes on. You jump in the water. You're late, Serge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose? You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Sergi, Lena, look at me! Oh, unique. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Come on, you guys should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. We swim all the way to that other shore. <laughs> What's over there? Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry in our minds. How each day lasted an eternity, filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up to reality and live each day anew. So, I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you collect some Komodo Dragon scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? Sure, no problem. Postle's just staring off into space. You know, being a good dog. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then. Just don't stand around. <laughs> don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see. I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge. I'm counting on you. Cool. <laughs> because it's Japanese. Nay, nay. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, because it's Japanese. That's why. Everybody looks like a little kid. Except for, you know, old, old geezers <laughs> all right um let's go ahead and save real quick save over this file no big deal that was my test file for today worked out really well <clears throat> yeah i'm sure she does like but you don't get get her back until way later so but anyway <laughs> I suppose they do. With the exception of Radius. You know, Radius is just like hunched over with his like eyebrows over his eyes. You can't even see the, the geezer's eyes. Alright, so we need to collect some scales, but I want to fight. Because this thing is guarding a chest, and I want treasure. Show me the shinies. Alrighty. Let's get to work. Um probably more important to take these guys down because they can do like a big wave attack. I don't know if they do it too much in here. Probably when you come back to this uh, scene later on. But in any case, Photon Ray. Um, I can kill him right away. However, I'll use a level 2. Okay, so here's the deal with elements. So when you attack, you build up elements, right? So if you hit with a weak attack, you'll gain one gauge. If you hit with a two, with a medium attack, you gain two gauges. And then a third um, heavy attack, you gain three gauges. So um, we can only go up to level three right now with our elements right now. So if you use a lower level element um, and uh, you have like three gauges, so I'm using level two with three gauges. That means I can save one for later. So after using that, I still now have a level one. So weak. Radius is a great uh, character. He really is. He stomps some stuff, man. Are you more accurate over here? No, they're the same. This dog is so weird. <laughs> um, fireball, sure. Uh, let's defend. So if you defend, you gain your stamina back. Like, you can see a stamina gauge below my HP. If it reaches zero, then you can't really attack. But, like, each um, whole number of stamina will give you one attack opportunity. So, uh, you need to make sure that stuff is high up. And if you want to gain it back, you just defend. So, alright. Let's try that. And that. I think when you use an element, it just like flips the scale, right? 
it just does like a 7. I think it either does a 7 or a 6. Like minus 6 stamina. Something like that. Indeed. Levels do equal elements. Yep. That's correct. World knows what he's talking about. Absolutely. Alright. We get a fireball. <laughs> I wish I would have rem remembered what the treasure chests were. So, okay, so this guy's easy. Just push this against the uh, entrance here, and then he can't escape when we scare him from the other side. Wah ha 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 ha. Give me that scale, boy. It is strange. It is very strange. Like, when you gain, like, Excuse me, when you gain like a star from from a, a boss fight, you have to do like additional fights after that to gain like mediocre stats, you know what I mean? Like you know what I'm talking about, you get like tiny little um, increases to your stats. But uh, yeah, and it's beneficial to do that obviously because you want to max out your HP, your attack value, whatever is going to increase. Typically it's HP that increases if you um, fight um, random battles after you fight a boss battle. Um, but then it, it then it peters out, you know. It doesn't give you additional stats um, after a certain time. So the game will let you know, sort of. All right, there's one scale, perfect. All right, we gotta play tag with this guy. Um, so we have to go this way, so we can keep going in a circle. All right. Try to cut the, these uh, corners, see if I can catch him. We're slightly faster than he is. There, got him. Easy peasy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as I was saying. That is correct. Alright, let's take these guys out first. Dead from that. Awesome. All right. Photon ray. Um, look at this guy swinging his arms back and forth. Look at that. That's freaking hilarious, man. <laughs> I love it. Boosh. Get out of here. You can't be missing with me, man. Come on now. All right, here's the uplift. You haven't seen this yet. Little tiny earth coming up from the ground. And then drop it on their head. Boosh. <coughs> Excuse me. Postal's not very good with magic, as you can tell, because that was like a level 3 attack with her innate element. And she still did crap damage. So she's meant to be a physical attacker, obviously, but... Yeah. Do I have any equipment currently? I need to check that real quick. I don't think I do. No. I was thinking I had an accessory that I could equip, but I think I get that here somewhere. Well, anyway, we'll see. Alright, what else to get? Uh, that's the way towards the beach, I believe. Um, isn't there a geyser here? Yeah, it's right here. So we can go through here. We can come out up underneath on the river. There we go. And there is a path back here with a monster, a secret monster, sprawling up from the water, you little creep. I like that. Yes, that is a very good point, Nene. Very good point. You don't have to grind in this at all. So, unless you're grinding for certain materials, but that really doesn't come up very often. Haha, <laughs> miss me. Alright, so since he's already weak, I'm going to use a fireball on this guy. Should kill him right away. That way we can be optimal. Good night. Would you die? Thank you. Hmm. So she did 19 damage with that attack, but that was against the Komodo Dragon. I wonder how the Fireball does. Try 
24. Okay, that's better. Alright, defend. Weak. There we go. She does some good damage, physically. It's not too bad. It's just weird. <laughs> it's a weird character, man. <clears throat> yeah, see, little tiny HPs like that is what you'll get after beating a boss battle. So eventually that's going to peter out. Um, probably in this area, actually. Not too many more battles left and we won't gain any more HP. But yeah. There's the accessory, the ivory helmet. That's going on Surge. I think that's just um, evasion, right? No, it's magic defense, der. Uh, evasion comes from, like, the ivory vests and stuff. So, yeah. Defense and magic defense. Go. Cool. Alright, need to get up there real quick. Do not fall, please. Thank you. We found a bone! Yay! Let's see. That's simply for crafting materials. Or crafting weapons and stuff. Armor and the like. Really? I thought I could fall here. Apparently not. Um, hang on. I guess there's a path down there, right? Back through the hole. We got some Twitch viewers tonight, man. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Alright. Let's see if we get some more stats from this guy. Twitch side is blowing YouTube up, man. What's going on with you guys? Come on now. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Alright, let's try a fireball. I don't think I can kill him right away, but we'll just kill this guy. Because I know I can. I wonder if this will do more damage than the fireball since it's higher level. Probably not though. Let's see. No, it doesn't. So fireball is better at level 2. I need to switch those things. I need to switch those two things. Because everything is weak against fire in this area so far. That'll change um, soon and you guys will see, but yeah. Alright, let us change. Fireball to level 3. Switch it up. For now. That'll be good. Cool. Alright. I made my money back, though. Got 300. Alright. This one's a little tricky to get. Um, the third Komodo scale. We have to jump up to the cliff and then time it just right to uh, get him to uh, fight. So, we will see if I can pull it off. I wonder if I can kill um, one of these guys from full health with a fireball. Let me see if I can do it. I don't think I can, but I just want to test it. I can. Holy crap. Okay. Great. That makes things slightly easier. Less tedious. Hit him one time, please. Good. Nice damage. Nice damage from a non-magic user. Good. That was the right call, putting the fireball all the way up to the top. Excellent. Oh man, I missed this game so much. <laughs> I missed it. Alright. This will knock the treasure chest loose. Come to daddy. Daddy needs shinies. Oh, by the way, people who don't know and just coming in, if you are on the Twitch side and you want to vote for my next uh, Let's Play series, it's not going to be for a while, but I am going to put the voting tally on every single video that I do of Chrono Cross. Um, it is in the top right-hand corner of YouTube. If you click the uh, information tab, you will find the poll up there um, where you can decide what I play next. 
But it's gonna be a while, but then again, you know, you can still vote on every single video. What are the choices that I put up there? Uh, I put I put Odin Sphere up there, I put Borderlands 2, I put Valkyrie Profile, and I put, um, I can't think of it, what did I put? Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep. In fact, the only game, no, I've beaten two of those games. I've beaten Borderlands 2, and I've beaten, uh, Fireball. I've beaten uh, Valkyrie Profile. So I haven't beaten Odin Sphere, and I haven't beaten um, Horizon yet. So. If you want to see something new, pick Hori or new for me, pick Horizon, or pick uh, Odin Sphere. We are moving right along, man. This is great. Good stuff. We will fight everything. Clear and sail. Everything must go. Say nay. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. I need two more followers, man. You just, oh you know I man, you're you're getting it up there. You almost hit up 50. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no, but what I was saying, I need two more followers on Twitch to uh, hit affiliate, man. It's so close. Very excited. Thank you guys for the support. That's the same result. No big deal. Fireworks. Hello. Welcome to the Lunarian Empire. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Alright, gotta time this right. Come on, dragon. Are you serious? I thought he was bugged there for a second. Like, no way is he staying there that long. Come on. Come on over. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm taking too many risks. <laughs> Man, I missed every one of those. Crap. Yeah. Start with a weak one. I should have equipped the silver loop. I didn't even think about it. I was uh, in my own mind talking about the voting tally and everything and got lost in my thoughts. <laughs> Pretty sure a fireball can take him out. Welcome everybody on Twitch. We're getting some high numbers on Twitch today, man. Thank you guys so much for the support. Alright, um, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is the third, so... Dang it, I shouldn't have burned that fireball. Oh, man. I forgot. I completely forgot that when you fight the third one, you have to fight this queen. The mama. It's fine, I can still beat it, it's just... A little annoying that I wasted my most powerful attack. Alright, whatever. You still have that, so go. Didn't I waste my photon ring to it? I feel like I did. I don't know. We'll find out, I suppose. Nope, I didn't. Okay, I just wasted this. That's fine. So, fam, what's up, girl? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Chrono Cross. It made it. Thank you for your votes. 
all that good support. You got it here. Good job. How you doing? Let me know. The mama's already weak. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She's not tough. It's just, yeah. Defend. <laughs> What's up, girl? How you doing, girl? There we go. First boss fight. Easy. So after you beat a boss, uh, those of you who are new to this game, uh, you get a star. So the star gives you like immense stats, like HP, strength, all that good stuff. And uh, after you beat a boss, you need to grind out a few more fights afterwards because you get additional stats after that for a time. Not not forever, but like for a time. You will get additional HP and uh, HP values and other values as well. So grind a little bit after you fight um, each boss just so you can uh, be optimal, you know? Awesome. How's DJ doing over there? I, was, I wasn't able to stop by today, unfortunately. So, what is she playing tonight? Is she doing Persona tonight or is she doing Ark? Which one? Mm. Oh, that should have been a death. Come on now. Alright. Fireball this guy into oblivion. Yes, that is true, because you need to pick the right innate uh, elements as well. You don't want to go too heavy on, like, um, the uh, characters who are strong against them, because the boss can be strong against them as well, so it's back and forth. You want to try to get uh, something that's a character that's resistant, at least, and then a character that can do heavy damage to them as well. You don't necessarily need to have a character that does heavy damage to them, unless they're, like, really good in physical attacks. But if they're really good in magic attacks, then they can use any element they want and exploit the weakness that way. So, it's, it's you know, it's pretty random. I mean, you can beat it in a bunch of different ways, but there are ways to be optimal, as you suggested. So, yes, that is correct. Alright, so see extra HP values right there, right after the boss fight. So, grind out some more uh, values here, if we can. Wait, that's it, right? That's the entire uh, area, I believe. Let's see. Persona 5, okay, cool. Nope, there's one more. Do they respawn as you go between the uh, levels? I, don't, I didn't think they did. Alright, cool. See, there's a kill right there. Probably from the extra strength from the boss. Then again, RNG. Alright, uh, let's see. Fireball. Goodbye. Oh, I get you. You know, don't worry. If you if you need to meet me, go right ahead. You know, go right ahead. So. <clears throat> I'll be here for the next, I don't know, hour and a half or so, because I'm quite enjoying myself right now, and I want to make some good progress in the first episode. Typically, I would stop after like a couple of hours, but I think I might go like two and a half hours or three hours tonight. We shall see. I have not decided yet. Depends on what you guys want. Awesome. Extra stats. There you go. Is there more? I don't think I fight another boss until later, right? Yeah, because I come back to here and fight other things that are different. Alright. I won't spoil it for you newbies. I know there are some newbies in the chat that haven't seen this before. I will try to keep it as spoiler-free as possible. Wild Mike, what is that emote? I can't even see. What is that? I can't tell what that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to look really close. What the hell is that? Awesome. Alright, 
Let's go give the scales back. Wait a minute. Do we get... I was thinking of going to the to the peak, but... No, we're, we're going there anyway to get chests anyway. So yeah, we'll pass through. Never mind. I thought I had to go there before I talked to Lena again. So... Nope, nope. Wait a minute. Crap. Crap. I needed to go to the beach, didn't I? Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot. Damn it. I derped hard. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Silver loop. I need to equip that. I just thought about it. that to you. Excellent. Alright, so we gotta go back through here now. Dang it. <laughs> That's fine. I'll be fighting some uh, stuff when I come back through here. So, it's not a huge deal that I don't fight right now. There we go. My bad. <laughs> That's a waste of time. That's okay. It happens. There you are. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Poshul, did I, I didn't expect to see you here. So this is where you went off to. Whee! Lena's here. How are you doing? Oh, are you two on a date? Sorry, me think me should have grieved you to a row. <laughs> I can't talk like this dog. This is ridiculous. Oh, please. Don't be silly. Poor sure, sure. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. And you too, Poshul. <clears throat> no problem. <laughs> I'm just going to use that voice. Why not? It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come We used to come all the time. <clears throat> I've played this song. I've played this song a lot. The scene never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? With a gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves? Just the two of us, talking. Do you still remember that day? I remember. Really? You do? So, Serge, you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day. <laughs> that makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there in wait, waiting for that right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married, and have kids of our own. Then one day, when that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what to make of this day. We'll never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's been something I've been wanting to... Search. What? What's wrong, Serge? Search.
This is a big moment. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. I don't know what kind of voice to do for this guy. You alright, boy? What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village, babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. I sort of took like an old Dallin approach to that. <laughs> a spry voice? Well, not too late. I don't think that was spry enough. Sergeant you're finally up. Something went whoosh, and me walked out cold, too. We walked out first, but me went to go look around. But no sign of Lena anywhere. Do you think Lena spontaneously combusted? <laughs> I can't keep this up. Me wonder if she's okay. Sorry. That's kind of hurting my voice, actually. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> Alright. Anyway, so... Those of you newbies, you have no clue what happened. You're about to find out. Because this is a big moment. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's Stitch. It's definitely Stitch. Alright, let's go ahead and save. So as you can hear, the music has changed from the uh, previous um, uh, overworld. So that is significant. It's really cool how they did that too. So if you look... Oh, uh, see. Oh, no, it doesn't show it. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to spoil it. Alright, let's fight these guys. So these guys are different. These guys are actually red innate. And I didn't change my elements. Crap. Crap. I bought aqua beams for this moment and I didn't equip them. Crap. That's fine. They're not they're not tough, it's just annoying. Sixteen damage on a fireball. I'm not gonna take that. Oh you can, can't you? Yeah, I'll take care of that here in a second. Let's see. Not just yet. Not just yet. We'll we'll make the crowd wait a little bit longer. Take the full health one down, hopefully. Almost. Almost. He's weak. Tear him up. Good. Excellent. Yeah, aqua beams are not pivotal to killing these guys. I mean, they're easy. It's just that I want a less tedious time, you know? Exploit weaknesses and stuff. HP for Surge, and that's it. Hmm. Alright, let's get these elements equipped real quick. So all I really want to do is switch up the fireballs to aqua beams. So, um, let's see. Let's put that on the top, actually. Photon ray can replace. And... You can get tablets. So we got a new slot here, element slot for getting a star. So when you get a star from uh, killing a boss, you get an additional, um, an additional, the uh, elemental slot. So, yes, absolutely. Um, we need to go to the partial real quick. You get the aqua beam on the level three. That's good. And then you can carry tablets too. Why not? Doesn't really matter. All right, fight.
Alright, so we only have one of these guys. So we'll take these guys out with physical attacks. Won't be too bad. Come on. Aqua Beam plus two. That should definitely take this guy out. Yep, goodbye. Lots and lots of damage. I like it. Excellent. Oh, man. I don't even need elements for these guys anymore. That's still not correct. What's going on with this viewer count? It's weird. There we go. I don't know why it does that. I have to refresh that viewer count, like, every once in a while. Alright, one more. One more. <laughs> no, they're not hiding. Well, the only reason I'm saying that is because I can see another count, like a full count on the on the chat box. But like, yeah, it doesn't show on the stream for whatever reason. It's weird. Nah, they ain't shy. They're here, full of support, man. Appreciate every last one of you. Oh, you're good, man. Yeah. I always appreciate the support, even if you're lurking. Where? I thought there were only three in this circle. That's fine. No worries. No worries. <clears throat> Yep, death. Aqua beam for the win. Boom. Her attacks are so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, you talked about Shores Near Another World? Yeah, that song is amazing as well. I also did cover that on my channel. Um, if if anybody hasn't seen like my video game cover tunes of this game, it is in the top right-hand corner of YouTube, right beneath the poll. If you look at the uh, Music Monday's Chrono Cross uh, video game piano covers list, you can see all the uh, piano covers that I did for it so far. But they're nothing like crazy professional or anything like that, but I mean, it's just for fun. Which I missed today's Music Monday. I do apologize for not getting that out, but it's been busy trying to set this up, get it all ready for you guys on both platforms. You know how it goes. Excellent damage. Very good. Nice. We'll be using that for Poshal for the time being. Surge already has one. Um, yep. We're here. I don't think I'm getting any more stats. I didn't check, but uh, I didn't see any stats that time. So I think I'm done grinding things out, but there are other uh, chests to get here before I exit. So, still be here for a bit, but, you know. The beginning of the game is sort of long, <laughs> um, but it does introduce the premise of the whole uh, entire uh, storyline or whatever. So.
Come on. 85%. There we go. Stretch it out. <laughs> Still got work to do. <laughs> Almost enjoyable. I feel you. I feel you. I hate doing some dishes, man. I really hate it. And I don't have a dishwasher, so I'm like in uber hate mode when it comes to doing dishes. My uh, uh, my neighbor hates doing uh, laundry. He actually talked to me yesterday when doing laundry. Like He, he comes over to my house and does laundry because um, we don't pay for water here. And he's just like, well, we'll just use the laundry. You know, we'll share it. That's fine. So, you know, he does that. But he absolutely hates doing it because, for whatever reason, he just hates it. He actually told me last night that he is seriously considering um, hiring somebody to do his laundry for him. <laughs> oh, man. It was funny to hear. It was funny to hear. Like, I get it. I, I get it. But it's just funny to hear someone would go that far. It's like, hmm, interesting. You know, if you hire a maid, make sure she's cute. That's my only gripe, so her only preference. <laughs> if she's gonna come over here and do and do laundry, then yeah, make sure she's cute. Why did I use that? That's stupid. Yeah, fourteen. <laughs> this is garbage. It's only good for a drying rack? Does it not work? Or does it work poorly? Oh, lots of fights, man. That's fine. I don't mind it. Yeah, that, that's true. That is true. I don't have a secondary basket, but, like, you know, laundry doesn't even bother me anyway, so it's like, whatever. So, that definitely bothers my neighbor, though. <laughs> Hates it. Alright. There's that. Um. I didn't go down to the, uh, to the river part. Let me see. There's a chest up here, isn't there? You don't do no dishes? Oh, that's true. You're the baby of the group. Yeah, why would you do dishes? There's no, there's no point for you to do any. Alright. Yeah, they do respawn. Wow. Okay, that's fine. Just avoid them for now, I suppose. Because I don't really need to fight anymore. I just want to get the rest of the uh, shinies around here. Which, there's none in that area. There's one over here. Need to go around. <sighs> Lame. Should have done this earlier. A feather. I forget what that's used to make, but it's nothing special. Really? Yeah, um, it's just making sure I get all the stats here and stuff like that, but in any case, I'm trying to find all the treasure and stuff like that. They're not extremely important, but, you know, there was an ivory helmet here. But I'm done here, so yeah. That place, like, this place takes way too longer, too much longer than it should, so. What? No, this way. Oh, really? What battles were those? Are you talking about boss battles? Or just like random enemies? Save. Hmm. 
actually... No, I don't go to this peak until later. Okay, that's right. So, that whole spiel happened on the beach. We're returning to the village. And, uh, yeah. Someone didn't know that I knew who Lena was, so it's like he didn't even recognize me. So everything looks relatively the same, but there's a few differences around here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is to bring the shark tooth to the, uh, the guy that gave it to me before. Yeah, I didn't mean to talk to you. <laughs> So down here, everything is different. The big fish is gone. Everything's different. The same dude is down here, but uh, he's different. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the far east. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just, an, it's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and an uncertain tomorrow. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with the prayers of people today protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where you can find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. Uh... Derp. All right, shark tooth. <clears throat> this is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark, and look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. What? What did you say? Another me. So the other me, who became a fisherman, asked you to give this to me. What are you talking about? That's enough. There is only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good 10 years ago. So we're 10 years into the future. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, if you would please put that thing away and leave me alone. I think once we leave, this thing comes to life. Nope. It didn't happen. Hang on. No answer. It seems to be just a straw doll. Uh, do I need to go to the peak first, maybe? Yeah, okay. I think I need to do the events first, and then come back for it. But, you can recruit that Mojo character. <laughs> I just, uh... I forget exactly when you do it, but you have to let that guy see the shark tooth and then the sequence is supposed to happen. But yeah. Anamano, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Congratulations on 2000 almost. Like, did you hit 2000 yet? Let me know. I was uh, watching one of your uh, Octopath uh, episodes and I saw you were at uh, almost 2K. So yeah. Congrats on your growth, man. You deserve it. How are you doing, my friend? Please let me know. It's important information. Lena, though this is where you were, how could how could you just leave us and go back on your own? I hate talking like this. Go back? On my own? What are you talking about, Pasha? And who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Poshu, what are you saying, Lena? Hey, yeah, you! You caught a Kangaskhan on Pokemon Go? Man, that's got to be rare. Where'd you catch that at? Oh, they, they're, they're, they're regional, aren't they? They're regional. You can only get them in Australia, right? Is that still going on? Where they're only available there? Don't be trying to pull any moves on Arlena, you jerk. Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. That's right, it is, it is Australian exclusive. I knew that was the case. I don't play anymore, but like, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So, 
You called it next to work? Well, lucky you. <laughs> kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about that. Hmm, you know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. What happened to him? What happened to him? Why do you want to know? It's really none of your business. Yeah, that would be very useful, man. I wish there was too. I caught a scyther next to a dentist's office. That was pretty funny. <laughs> that boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember her too well. But my mom says his name was... Search. I'm Surge. You're Surge. Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy's dead. Don't you understand? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Surge is going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on the lost loved one. You can find his grave up on Cape Cowl. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. It's really sad, man. I've played this song too, on my channel. Such a beautiful piece, man. All these mu all these pieces are beautiful. Crazy awesome. <clears throat> Alright, uh, we need to go to the... Actually, wait. There's other things to get, isn't there? One second. Uh, let's see. I can't interact with this, right? Is this the same ordeal? Yeah, it is. I get an Ice Lance. Holy crap, that's a level 2 spell. Awesome. Um, I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. Not any longer. Ah, uh, there could be. <laughs> there could be. Oh yeah, World Final Fantasy. I play, um, I'm actually a music teacher. I teach private music lessons for a living. I teach guitar, piano, and singing. So if you look on my, um, if you actually, if you look in the top right hand corner of YouTube right now, you can find my Music Mondays playlist of Chrono Cross covers that I've done. And it's all piano, and I also have a Final Fantasy playlist that I've done as well. Um, one of the Final Fantasy uh, covers that I've done is from... A, like a chamber ensemble, like a uh, an orchestra ensemble that I arranged. So I arranged the um, like my own version of the main theme of Final Fantasy VII, which is the first um, uh, the first song on the Final Fantasy playlist that I did. So everything else is piano so far, but I'll incorporate guitar and singing after a while. So let's see. <laughs> what I would use to play. Yeah, man. So if you want to vote for a poll up there, I'm pretty sure you would pick Valkyrie Profile, but let's uh, see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, man. So do you. So do you. You're an aficionado just like I am. Uh, where am I going? A cape. How, right? But is there anything else to get? No. Go to the cape first. Because up there we find Kid, and then we have to come back for Lena, don't we? Yeah, so let's go to the cape first, and then we'll come back. Oh, you, you can find the Chrono Cross series in the top right-hand corner of my stream. If you take your mouse, um, or if you're on mobile, just you know tap the screen or take your mouse and go to the top right-hand corner, you'll see an information tab up there. You click it, and then you'll see the, the poll for the new LP series. 
that you want me to play next, and below that you'll see the Chrono Cross covers. So, yeah, just like what Anna said right there, exactly. So, you can also just go to the my playlists on my actual homepage, and then you can find it from there. So, DJ's raiding my stream. Oh my God, it's the first raid. It's the first raid ever on my own stream. Thank you. How you doing, DJ? Good to see you. Good to see you. Vitz is here too. What's up, man? Good to see you too. How are things going for everybody? Let me know. <clears throat> Corinne's here too. Holy crap, we got a lot of people. Welcome, everybody. YouTube has just usurped Twitch. Man, dude, I had like 12 on Twitch earlier. They were like killing YouTube earlier. Now YouTube just like came back with a vengeance and we lost some Twitchians. But yeah, it's like a back and forth today. It's pretty, pretty fun. All right, don't get hit by that. Uh, don't fight. Electro Jolt. That is also important. Do not get hit. And a bone. A little bit less important. Throw me a bone. Yeah, how was your stream? Was it pretty successful? Alright, so as far as uh, the Jolt goes, I would like to give that to Poshal. Um, that needs to go here. Let's see. Because the fight that I'm about to uh, fight is... Let's see, it's Karsh, Salt, and Pepper. Um, what is the elements? Pepper is red, Salt is yellow, and Karsh is green. Okay, I don't have any green elements to go against Salt, but I mean, there's that. So, Fulton Ray is good there. Um, Ice Lance would be great against uh, Pepper. Let's see, let's put you there. Put Photon Ray in place of Tablet. Um... Let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah, I did Star Stealing Girl. That, that's a really fun tune to play, man. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, it's a great song, man. So, uh, let's see. Over here, there's no blues. Um, there is a red, so you can take Aqua Beam on the top. Actually, no, both. Take them on both. Um, fireball, possibly. That kid's gonna have some fireballs too. No, I'll take an uplift. There you go. I think we're good. So, cure, photon ray, good. Two waters. Or, ice lance here. This is for Karsh. Hmm. And for salt. Take him out quickly as well. Or, or pep war, that's right. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it. I'm trying to prepare for the boss battle that's coming up here. Uh, let's see. No more accessories, and we're good. Cool. All right. Fingaga? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's crazy awesome. Crazy awesome. Hashtag that shit, man. Gaga. <laughs> Where the hell does that come from? Sounds epic, though. Alright, so here is apparently our grave where we died. Writing on the tombstone. Rest in peace, our beloved Surge died age 7. Nobody can take away anything from him, or nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. He's distraught. He's like, no, I don't know what's going on. This is impossible. So you must be Surge, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Thanks for the support, Anime. I appreciate you, man. I got another follower on Twitch today. I need two more. I need two more on Twitch to be an affiliate. I'm at 48. It's exciting, man. Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But, Sir Karsh... Do you think it is truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I can't use Poshal in this fight, can I? Yeah, that's fine. At least I have the Electro Jolt. It's whatever. 
There's Kid. Awesome character here, man. Who the... Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of the way. You have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. You're crying out loud. Would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your arse. Sorry arse is so hard you'll kiss the moons. <laughs> the epic line from Kid. There's a follow. Oh my gosh. Corinne, thanks for the follow, man. That's 49. Much support, man. Much love to you. Thank you, man. Let's see. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Anna Mana, I need you to come in here and do Kid's voice for me. Since she's apparently Australian. She says mate a lot. And she says arses and all this good stuff. So, need your help, man. <laughs> Alright, so, they're both yellow. I thought Pepor was red. I thought it was red. It doesn't matter, I don't have any green elements, but still. Oh well, that's fine. Um, okay, so we need to take out... Let's see. Salt is like the least um, worrisome. Pepor has some good strength, Karsh has some really good strength. We need to try to take out Karsh first. So, let's get him. Good damage. Pathetic. Alright, Electro Jolt is going to do the most damage to him. Uh, let's see. Go. Do you know at the beginning of the game do you get toggled characters? Wait. Um, are you talking about New Game Plus where you toggle characters between? Because if that's so, then no. You have to recruit. Uh, re recruit. Re recruit the characters as you do New Game Plus. But yeah, at the beginning of the game, um, no, you don't get a toggle characters. So. All right, let's keep hitting him. <sighs> Dang it. Sir, his innately innate element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. Unfortunately unfortunate. You do not seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop, you should always carry elements of every color. Then how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir. But I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sir Carr, show us how it's done. Useless fools! Urgh. Real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. Come on, kid. Let's get some hits. Damn. Yeah, collecting all the characters is quite the feat, but, you know, it's very satisfactory when you finally do do it. Defend. Oh, yeah. Defend. Nope. He's doing too much damage, more than he should be. It's not a hard fight, I mean, it's, it's just annoying. Alright, Ice Lance this bastard. Lynx is a badass character, Aaron. I definitely agree. You only like him because he's a cat, though. <laughs> Come on, kid! Yep, yeah, Biggs and Wedge right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, take him down. He's gotta be weak. 25. Defend. Mm, he's a cure here in a second.
There we go. There's the weakness. Crap. Hmm. I can kill him with physicals. Let me use a cure, actually. There you go. Dead. Okay, we need to take out Pepor uh, first. These guys aren't tough, it's just that, yeah, he does more damage. I think eventually he becomes a red innate element. I'm pretty sure. Either that or he uses red elements at some point. I think he has, like, attack up later on when you fight him. Why does she miss her second attack all the time? RNG is not kind to her at all. Wow. Why is she so inaccurate? <laughs> and a tablet. And we'll give one to Surge, why not? No, uh, the, the one that's paired with a uh, an FF is the Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger uh, um, disc. Yeah, like that. That was on PS1, so that came in uh, the same thing. I also I actually still have the strategy guide for that specific uh, box set, where you can see Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger on the same on the cover. So like um, Final Fantasy's up here, and then Chrono Trigger's down here. Anyway, yeah, it was a really cool combination. It was like interesting. I understand why they put them together because, you know, SNES, but God bless, can we hit something? Oh my gosh. I need to stop taking risks, man. And a minute you headed out? Thanks for the support, man. I appreciate you. You'll hit 2,000, man. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, man. Stretch it out. <laughs> Is he dead? He died. Holy crap. Defend. Alright, kid, come on. Hit something. There we go. Tablet. I don't care about that. Just hit him physically. All out of elements. Nothing left. Death. Awesome. All right, second star. Cool. Strength. It's crap HP, but I mean, yeah. Decent. I revest and helmet. Cool. Sir Karsh. I say we shake it on out of here, so that we can live to find another day. These aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. I don't know what voice to do for this guy. He, he like, he's so weird looking, he has no neck. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You alright, mate? Serge. Your name's Serge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Kid. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna keep it the same every time. No renaming characters in this one for me. <clears throat> Call me Kid. Nice to meet you. I tried, man. I try. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes that gang up on you like that. They just pissed the bloody hell out of me. 
I wish I could have beat him up some more. But why was that mob after you? What do you mean you never seen even met him before? Eh? Ah, forget it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely helped. Let's see. Hey, Search. How about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone. That's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> so how about it, Serge? Perhaps it was fate that we could meet up like this. I think I'm going back and forth between Australian and Scottish. <laughs> it's just a weird hybrid that I have. So here's the thing. If I refuse, then I can gain a new character when I leave. She'll come back eventually, but like, if I refuse here, then I get another character, so I'm going to refuse. Hang on. Are you telling me you're going to refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? You get the silent treatment, girl. <laughs> you sure though, mate? You might live to regret it, you know. You have to refuse her three times. Jeez. Well, have it your way, mate. <laughs> She's like, drop dead, you bastard. <laughs> That's a cow line right there. Drop dead, you bastard. <clears throat> Sorry, that's loud. Mm. I'll be heading up north to a town called Tamina. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. Don't want you to become Hecron bait now. <laughs> yeah, she's a Yuffie. Total, totally. Well, see ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I can over-exaggerate it. Alright, so, there's that. She got kicked off the freaking cliff. It was terror, bro. They took- they should be kind to an animal. I can't even read her sentences. Speak clearly, dog! Oh, man. So here's Lena. If we would have gone with Kid, then this wouldn't have happened right here. We wouldn't have got Lena on our team, so she's gonna join us here. Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found you here, though. Surge, right? Kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really something else, but you think you're the Surge who died ten years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. And you don't seem like such a bad person either. You're planning to go to Termina, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth, it feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Just admit it, woman. You know who I am. Well, that's that. Shall we get going? Awesome. And confirm. Cool. Okay, let's head to Termina. It's Termina, not Termina, Termina. I used to call it Termina back in the day all the time, but I was like, no, this is reminiscent of, like, termination, so, like, Termina. That's it. Poshushu, full speed ahead. I want you off my team, Poshul. <laughs> so now we should be able to go get, um, Mojo. So, yeah, let's see if we can do that. Huh? Who the... What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, alright? Go play outside. Who are you, mister? This is Thirdy Pooh's house, isn't it? Where is Mama Thirdy Pooh? Huh, who? Marge. Who the heck's that? 
I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name does not ring a bell. For five years? Is that true, mister? Oh, shoo. This is really, really weird. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Get out of here. Termina? I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm just gonna go with Termina, I suppose. I just kind of relate it to, like, the closest word. Like, terminal, termination, termina. Might as well. In any case, um, I need to go get Mojo. And then I'm gonna save it after doing some maintenance to the characters and doing some switching. And, uh, then... I'm going to be ending it. So yeah, because we're doing some co-op tonight over on Vitz's channel with the new event on Decidia. So that will be happening here after a short while. So he's going to start at 11, I think, which is in about 12 minutes. So yeah, definitely popping over there and wait for his uh, stream to pop up with the new event. And we will be doing some co-op, as per usual. Let's see. Do I have to show him this shark tooth again? He's going to go through the same crap again. Oh, crap. Hmm. I missed the beach scene on, on Persona. Okay. Well, timestamp it in the comments, and then I'll go to it and watch it. So this is the last time I'm going to give this to him. The, the sequence should, you know, initiate as soon as I leave. So I'm just going to skip through this real quick. Oh, dude, yeah. It's all, it's all about the blue hair and the, and the bandana, dude. That's what it's all about. If you've got that, then you've, uh, you've got him hooked. Okay, please tell me. Okay, there we go. Boom. Hold on a second there. What was that? Love is always in the air. It's just that no one notices. Y your mojo. This little, this character me. <laughs> I am mojo, and I bring them good fortune. Boom. This can't be happening. How in the... He stabbed directly through the heart. Like, they put it on the left side slightly to make it look like that. That's crazy. It's a little dark. <laughs> I sense some kind of purpose. Seems like fun. So I will join a mule. Wait a second. There's um, nothing droll about me. Just a word of advice. Stop them running and come face to face with your life. <sighs> A messenger of love and courage, I am. Um. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fun ass playthrough, man. Like, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, Mojo, Jojo, Jojo. Yeah, dude, this character is, is hilarious. Okay, so I wanna take Poshal out and put uh, Mojo in there. So, um, let's switch that up and then do that. Um, I think, I think it can only switch characters at like a teleporter thing or a save uh, crystal thing. And outside too, I think I can do it as well. Um, I gotta check it first, but I wonder if like, I can still look at Poshal's elements before switching, like after I switch him out. I can't remember, well, we'll find out. So he's black elemental. I have no black elements, but he is better at magic. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, that's right, I can go to the left on and look at her elements. So yeah, okay, so take these, remove everything, and then we'll give all that to Mojo, what we can. Lena needs some aqua beams. I need to remove everything and anything that's on here. <laughs> so yeah, remove everything. All right, so she's empty. He's also empty. Good. Alright. So let's make sure that we get the innate colors on the far, on the highest level. So Photon Ride goes up there. 
Um, Ice Lance is going to go to Lena because she is water type. So that's going to go on the very top. She can have an Aqua Beam on level 1. And probably level 2, but I might give this to Mojo. Um, so Mojo can get the Electro Jolt at the highest level. Aqua Beam can... Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go here. We'll change Lena's here in a second. Fireball can be level 2. Um, we'll put an Uplift at level 2. We'll put a Cure at level 1. Okay. Cure level 1 as well for Lena. Um, Aqua Beam, let's put that up one more. And then she gets a Fireball at level 2. Whoops. Crap. I hate it when I do that. Right here. And then Uplift at level 1. Okay, and Surge needs some love, <laughs> so what I need to do is go out to the store real quick and then buy some more stuff for him, so we can get a Fireball level 2 here. Alright. Oh yeah, absolutely, World Final Fantasy. Please, please come back to the streams whenever you get a chance. Um, I'm streaming Chrono Cross Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so if you want to talk up some music again, you know, let me know and we'll uh, discuss some of that while I'm streaming. Uh, tomorrow is Brigandine. If you know what Brigandine is, it's another classic PS1 uh, strategy RPG that I play on my channel. And uh, so I'm doing that Tuesdays and Thursdays. But if you wanted to wait for Chrono Cross, same time, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can find all the information below in the description as well, what my live stream schedule is and stuff like that. So, all right, let's see. Let me check Twitch real quick. I just, before I quit, I want to see like the follower account on Twitch really quick. What is it? It is 49. I need one more follower on Twitch to become an affiliate. Dude, that is so exciting. That is so exciting. Someone hit me up on that. <laughs> nah, no obligation for real. But yeah, thank you all for your support. All right, let's, uh, what was I going to do? Store, 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 store. I need another cure. I also need, uh, Probably another Aqua Beam, yeah. And then, I don't think she sells uplifts. Let's see. Alright. Can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Indeed I would. Please show me the elements. You're gonna follow? Oh my gosh, that's number 50. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. I can do a lot more stuff now because of 50. You just hit it. You just hit it. Don't make me cry, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm tolerant, but uh, yeah, it's a good moment. Let's see. Uh, a heal for him, right? Uh, let's see. Um, I have three of those. Let's see. Aqua Beam 2. Get an Aqua Beam. He already has a Fireball equipped. So, let me go back out and check real quick and see what he has left over. Alright. Beam. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage goes up. Let's just keep the, uh, the heals where they need to be. So that's fine right there. Tablet. Um, maybe, because I think the curatives have to go here. I might want to get some antidotes, though. Yeah, let's do it like this. Let's put the Aqua Beam. Um, no, let's put the Fireball there. <laughs> nope, let's put the Aqua Beam there. <laughs> I'm being so indecisive, this is dumb. Alright, uh, let's see. And then... Uh... Hmm. That's it, Fan. Fan, you're number 50. Thank you so much. Much love to you, girl. Much love to you. That's 50. Fan got number 50. Holy crap. Oh, wow. That's amazing. DJ, you got 51. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Oh, my gosh. I've got some work to do, man. I've got some serious work to do since uh, we just hit that milestone. Wow. That's huge. I'm actually kind of stunned. All right. Focus. We gotta close this out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to bring some antidotes and probably uh, buy some medicines as well. Oh, man. Let's see. 
oh, you'll hit it event, you'll hit it like very, very quickly. When I first uh, subscribed to you, you were at, I think, 156. You've climbed 30. You've climbed over 30, I think, since I uh, subbed to you. And I haven't been subbed to you that long. So, yeah, you're doing it right. Keep at it. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a big day, man. <laughs> this is a big day. My heart's racing. Let's see. Uh, medicine. I would like to get at least five of each. I have a crap ton of gold. Just get ten. Yeah, ten. Ten and ten. Done and done. Um, three cures, three fireballs, three aqua beams. Okay, that'll work. Let me get at least another stack of tablets so I can heal off screen. Or off outside of battle. Um, let's see. Well, I knew that you followed anyway, man, so I do appreciate you as well. Even if it doesn't show up, it's some. it can take some time. So, yeah. Um, I saw a friend request, though. Did you send a friend request? Let me see. Where is it? Uh, was there a... Wait a minute. No, I think that was on Discord. I thought that was on Twitch. No, never mind. I guess I'm wrong. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you hit, if you hit the uh, the heart icon, that's the follow icon, right? So yeah, just hit the heart, and that should pop up. So if not, I still appreciate you, man. So all right, cool. Let's see. Excellent. All right. Um, I think everybody's squared away. Make sure. I like to do another once over. Um, you need to get antidotes here, just in case there's poison in the battles, which I think there are in the uh, valley. I'm pretty sure they're on the valley. And uh, can you take medicine? There it is. There it is. So the username is Cam Michael. Is that you? Is that you, Michael? Is that correct? If not, if Michael's a different person, thank you for the follow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, is that you? Oh yeah, you can also friend, but yeah, following is different, so. <laughs> the follow gif is hilarious, like, uh, it seriously, like, took me not five minutes to put it together, because, like, I, I wanted to have, I didn't think I was gonna, like, put something funny in there, but, like, I saw the gif, and I was like, okay, I love metal, let's go ahead and put the metal guy in there, but when I was searching for, like, guitar tracks to put to this, all the metal ones were kind of like, eh, it's not great. But, like, uh, I found the romantic classical guitar sound. It, it is hilarious. It meshes up so funny. It makes no sense whatsoever. But you get a laugh out of it, man. I, say, I, I swear. It's crazy awesome. All right. Anyway. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. I could, I could laugh at that all day, seriously. All right. I need you to take medicine. Why am I giving you fireballs? You can't even use fireballs that well. Like that's the that's the other thing that I'm forgetting about is that if they use the opposite element that they are, then they're not good, they're gonna do less damage. So I can't have her using fireballs. So yeah, let's give that to somebody else. Uh, Mojo, you don't have any white elements, which is great. So let's see. Uh, much drilled uplift fireball. Yeah, you're fine. Surge. Um, cure aqua beam. Antidote's good. Photon ray. Suppose I could replace this with the fireball because, I mean, it's good to heal in battle, but you can heal outside of battle. Eh. Let's just do that for now. We'll see what happens. You have medicine. That's perfectly fine. Um, I might switch the aqua beam to here. And then have you take some antidotes. Yes, let's do that. The damage is a little bit lacking there, but Ice Lance hits really hard, and then Aqua Beam as well, so yeah, okay, good. That works for me. I am I can be indecisive when it comes to elements, but when I get it right, it looks good. Like, I want to make sure that it looks exactly the way I want it to. So, I think I have an Ivory Helmet as well, so you can have that. Do I have any other equipment? Let's see. She has an Ivory Helmet as well. We can get rid of that. So you take that off, and then Lena can uh, wear that. Alright? Let's see. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm finishing up right now, man. Like, uh, you can go ahead and start if you want. I'll be in there in just a second. Um, I'll go ahead and link the channel over for anybody who's not uh, following bits right now. I'll be going over there and doing some Opera Omnia, which is which has a new event tonight. Uh, Ash from FF12 just got released, so we're gonna do uh, the co-op on that and see how we fare. All right, and let's just go outside, I suppose, and save. All right, yeah, I've I've made this you know way too long. I need to close up shop. So this was a an enormous enormously successful episode. I'm fumbling over my words, but seriously, I'm kind of stunned about getting affiliate today. You guys are freaking amazing. And, um, yeah. You show love to this empire like I wouldn't believe. I never thought this, it would grow this huge. I mean, I'm not a huge YouTuber. I'm, I'm not. But, like, it feels like it's huge. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a great community. Everybody's been of the utmost support and, like, uh, yeah. I'll fumble. I'll continue to fumble with my words if I keep talking. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you very much for being here for the first episode of Chrono Cross. If you want to come back and see some more, it is Wednesday this week and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then if you want to come back for Brigandine, that is tomorrow and Thursday at the same time. Um, I will be continuing Indie Sundays at 3 p.m. on Sundays. Uh, you can catch my schedule in the description below on YouTube and below in the panels on Twitch as well, along with any other resources, you know, all the social medias down there. Please join the Discord if you are new. We would love to have you over there in the Lunaran Empire, and we can chat with you directly. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Remember to leave a like, sub, follow, all that good stuff, and thank you for getting me to affiliate today. This was huge. I'm your host, Valkasenari. I'll catch you tomorrow. Stay well, Lunarians. Peace.